The next recipient is and was in fact a very close friend of mine, Mervyn Hasnali. And many of you will have heard him on the radio. Mervyn Hasnali cultivated his love for public speaking at Hillview College Tunapuna in Trinidad, where he was featured in the Trinidad Guardian newspaper for winning the three top prizes in the Teenagers Fraternity Shakespearean Recitation Contest. With his love for adventure, he moved to Canada in 1969, where he earned his professional designation as a certified management accountant. And although he enjoyed accounting, it was the way he supported his family. And he also had a deep love for Caribbean culture and found a way to volunteer some of his time to pursue that love. He was one of the founding members of the Trinidad and Tobago Association, and during that time, he had also embarked on a new hobby, which was radio. He volunteered his time as a technical operator and as an accountant, and eventually got his own show, which he called Sohani Rat on CIUT radio. The show was designed to fill a void in the Canadian market. At the time, he was the, it was the only show that played all Hindi songs, but he spoke English, making it very relatable to an Anglo-speaking Caribbean and Canadian audience. Mervyn was also a member of the Caribbean Cultural Committee from 1994 to 1997. And during this time, it is said by his colleagues that he contributed in a very professional manner in aiding setting up solid foundations for the Caribbean Committee that we have today. He spent an abundant amount of time and hours going through the books and making reports, listing recommendations to improve the finances of the festival. However, during all this time of volunteering, he never lost sight of what he truly held dear, which was his family. He held his wife Rose and children in the highest regard, so much so that he was featured in the Toronto Star for being one of the father's first candidates. These people, despite blooming careers and excellence within the community, still put fatherhood first. In his gift of public speaking that allowed him to follow his many passions, such as working in radio, working in theater, emceeing many cultural shows, and working as a trainer and mentor to many workmates and people in the community. Mervyn, in fact, gave so much of his time selflessly as a result of he left a lasting mark in our community. Gone but not forgotten, today we remember and salute a friend of mine, a friend of yours, Mervyn Hassan Ali, with the first posthumous MCC award. We all know him as Mervyn Hassan Ali, and I called him dad. And unfortunately, he sadly missed today as he's moved on, but I know he looks down very proudly on all of the accomplishments that the people that are receiving the awards today have achieved. His heart is filled with not only proud, uh, proudness, he's very happy to look down and see that the community and the Caribbean culture is growing so abundantly. Thank you to the MCC Award, Richard Aziz and Jai. And we just like to read what it says, Shabnam Radio, and the first Indo-Caribbean MCC Music, Culture and Community Award, Posthumous Award 2009, presented to Mervyn Hassan Ali for his excellent service with dedication to our community. Remem we remember and salute you. On behalf of myself, Jai Oja Maharaj, the Caribbean Connection, Shin Radio, and Richard Aziz, Caribbean East Indian Cultural Organization, Shabnam Radio, and the MCC Awards, we present this to our dear good friend, Mervyn Hassan Ali. <laughs> 